friends and welcome to my hotel room in Arizona. Um, I have been at Christy Wright's business boutique the last few days and I'm speaking here and um, I just wanted to check in with you all because I have missed you and I have missed the opportunity of getting to scope. I hope you all are doing well. I thought I would just hop on for a few minutes um, before we have um, plans tonight and would um, check in with you and see how you're doing because I've missed you. I wish you were here too, Vicki. I got to meet um, so many of my readers and it was a lot of fun. I am tired. Um, yay, Mandy. I'm so excited for Dallas. You guys, this was an amazing event. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And I heard so many incredible stories from women who are here and how um, it's literally changing their life in such a powerful way. So if you are near Dallas, I think there are still some tickets left um, and you can get them. I think it's, I think they're $99 um, and it's going to be next weekend and I will be there. Yeah, Chris, it's been a while. I've been like kind of a Periscope dropout. I sort of feel like um, it's just been, um, this week was just one of those um, weeks that I just had to prioritize other things. Um, so <laughs> it's funny to see you, um, Melissa, too. Yeah, I think it's nine. I think they're just ninety nine um, dollars. So you miss me. I miss you guys so much too. Um, I feel like I just I need to connect with my people. Um, so I hope that you are doing well. I wanted to show you. I um, started reading this book on the plane. And it's called Colors of Goodbye. Um, and I don't know if any of you have heard of it before. I actually found it on Amazon. I hadn't heard of it from anyone. I just randomly found it on Amazon. Yeah, I need to come to Wisconsin. Um, you're in Canada and that's like $300. Oh. Um, but anyway, so it's Colors of Goodbye. And it had a forward by Shauna Nequist. And I love her stuff. And it just, the, the um, what it was about just was so kind of captured my attention. It's um, a memoir of holding on, letting go, and reclaiming joy in the wake of loss. And it's about, um, I haven't been to the UK before. Um, it is about a family who lost their daughter. And um, I just, it's beautiful. It's just a beautiful book and it's beautifully written and I have just really been um, enjoying it. I'm only, see how far am I? I'm just a few chapters in, but it's really good. And um, lovely trolls today. Um, and uh, so anyway, that was Colors of Goodbye. What's the book about? It is, um, it's about a family who lost their daughter and just kind of walking through that and walking through that grief. One of the things, um, Chris, you'll find this interesting is um, there are pictures throughout the book. Let me see if I can show you one um, that she drew. And so there, it's the, um, there's photos that the, their daughter drew and um, they're throughout the book and just they talk about the meaning behind those and it's just it's a really artistically beautifully written book so um, I just wanted to mention that for those of you who are looking for a good read I have really been enjoying that so I hope that you all are having a great weekend um, I am looking forward to being back on scope next week um, I've missed being regular on scope and I'm hoping that I can um, do a better job of that do I get nervous on stage like earlier um this was an interview. I just did an interview and it was a big stage and um, there were some different elements of it with an interview. We didn't know what questions exactly were, how the interview was going to go. So it's a little bit different than just going up and giving a talk that you have been able to rehearse and you know exactly where you're going. Um, and there were a lot of slides that could be put up or could not be put up. And um, so that was a little interesting to deal with that um, because we're gonna change that for next week so that we only have like eight slides. Um, but I did, I really enjoyed it. It took, I think after the first question that I could actually really enjoy it. So anyway, it was a good experience and um, the speakers here are just amazing. Um, it was so good. So anyway, I hope that you um, are having a wonderful weekend and I will see you next week. What time for scopes? I would love to be back on in the morning. I would love to say midday, but I don't think I'm going to make any promises, but I will do my best to be on um, every day next week. And then we'll see if hopefully I can get on a better schedule so that I can be um, more consistent. Thank you for your patience. So anyway, have a wonderful um, weekend and I'll see you next week.